Hello, welcome to this clip going through question number two from the 2019 Unified Chemistry paper, which was used at Armagh here at College. Um, obviously, as you'd expect, it's a question that goes through several different aspects of your chemical knowledge, and it starts with a step prize um, description of how a student prepared benzoic acid. So obviously the first thing to do is to read what um, the student did. So they take a specific amount of phenylmethanol, give you the density, and they mix it with sodium carbonate and aqueous potassium manganate 7 as an oxidising agent, and they heat the mixture under reflux. And then the resulting mixture is cooled and then acidified with concentrated HCl, and impure crystals with benzoic acid appear. And finally, the student recrystallizes the impure crystals to obtain 1.59 grams of pure benzoic acid. So there's some data in there, but you don't need to process it just yet. Uh, but it says in step one, sodium carbonate makes the reaction mixture alkaline. So there's two things to think about. First of all, you need to show how carbonate ions form an alkaline solution in water. So it needs to contain OH-. So it forms an alkaline solution in water, so the OH- has to be in products. Now the second thing to think about is that it asks you to write an ionic equation. So that means that the equation must show ions reacting or being formed. So the first thing to do is to make sure you've got the ion that gives you an alkaline solution in water, which is your OH-. And the second thing to do is to make sure you've got your carbonate ion reacting in the first place. Uh, so, carbonate ions form an alkaline solution in water. That must mean it reacts with water somehow. So now what's got to happen is the carbon from the carbonate has to be dealt with somehow. So that must mean it makes carbon dioxide gas. So in order to balance this out, uh, you need to double your OH- on the right-hand side. Now there is an alternative where you have the hydrogen carbonate ion and one OH- that could also work. I've only taken you through one possibility, but the Mark scheme could also allow you to have OH- and HCl3-. So this next part... So this is the one that people struggled with a bit. Um, and uh, it's because you've got to think carefully about what happens chemically in step one and step two. So in the first step, phenylmethylene was oxidised to benzoic acid because although phenylmethylene was a primary alcohol, it's refluxed in this description, so fully oxidises. In the second step, the benzoic acid will have partially dissociated into H plus and C6H5COO, the benzoate ion. So if we react this carboxylate ion with HCl, it'll be protonated back into benzoic acid. So taking these two deductions together, you can turn it into an answer. OK, so let's move it down to the next part. So, it says write the overall equation for the preparation of benzoic acid from phenylmethanol. So remembering, of course, like we said earlier, it's a full oxidation, so two O's in square brackets is needed. So for the next part, where they want the percentage yield of benzoic acid, um, first thing to look at is the fact that they say, give your answer to three significant figures. So what I'd suggest is if you're prone to forgetting the sig figs by the end of your calculation, put a reminder to yourself down by the answer line. That way you're unlikely to forget when you write your answer in. Okay, so we need to go back and check the data now. So I'm going to copy it and pop it into this um, bit of empty space here just to help us get started. Then I'll get rid of it and we can write the calculation in. So we can take from the equation part C that the number of moles of phenyl um, methanol to the number of moles of uh, benzoic acid is 1 to 1. And uh, therefore, the first thing to do is to take the data we're given for phenyl methanol and convert it into a, a mass and then therefore number of moles. So using uh, density equals mass over volume, we can rearrange to get the mass, and uh, that's going to be 4.16 grams. So dividing mass by molar mass gives us 0 0.03851851852. Keep your calculator value to stop introducing any um, errors of any kind. So if it's 100% um, percentage yield, 
uh, we would expect that same number of moles of um, benzoic acid. So doing exactly the same thing, moles equals mass over MR, gives us another long number to keep in our calculator. And uh, what we do is divide one by the other. So I'm going to clear a bit of space here and move my uh, workings uh, a little bit out of the way so I can now put a calculation in for my percentage yield. So that gives us 33.83511981. So changing that to three significant figures gives us 33.8. Okay, uh, now let's move over to the final part of this question. So it says, um, in step three, describe how the student can recrystallize the impure crystals to obtain pure benzoic acid. That's really important to think here. What does pure benzoic acid mean? So because technically water could be classed as an impurity, it has to be a dry sample. So you have to also say that you dry it out at the end. So first of all, you've got to get rid of the impurities. So to do this, you have to dissolve the impure product in minimum volume of hot solvent. Then you filter it under reduced pressure. You can add in that you can use a Buckner funnel if you want to. And then you have to leave it to dry. So that takes us to the end of this particular question. Hopefully this has been uh, fairly useful. So until next time, thanks for listening and see you soon.